Hello, this is Colin McDonnell and I'm Dave Gilbert from Praetorian Technologies and we're here today at the William Merritt Disability and Living Centre in Leeds. We'd like to introduce you to iOS 7 switch control point mode. Colin is a single switch user, he has it mounted to his headrest here and he also uses an iPhone um, and he doesn't use step mode as uh, most people do in uh, iOS 7 switch control instead he uses point mode and what we'd like to do today is to show you how to set it up and also how you can use it so that you can make your own choice as to which suits you the best so Colin's already got his applicator paired up with his iPhone and he's also got his iPhone set to iOS 7 switch control in item mode or as, as many people call it step scanning mode and Colin, if you can just hit your switch, then you'll see it start to scan in the normal way. What we're going to do now is to show you how to go from the, uh, the item or step scanning mode into point mode. So first of all, what Colin will do is to select uh, an item on the home screen. It doesn't matter which one. Up comes the secondary menu, and he's going to then scan to settings and hit, the, hit that switch. And then what it's going to do is on item mode, we've gone past it so I'll have to go all the way around again. Item mode is the uh, first item on the second line. He's going to hit the switch then and he's set it now to point mode as you'll see. So now we're going to show you how to actually use point mode. First of all, Colin's going to hit his switch and it will begin scanning horizontally. You'll see that there's a broad band to begin with to give you the course position. When Colin gets it somewhere near where he needs to be, you'll hit the switch and then you get a, a fine cursor moving within that band. And when he gets to where it needs to be, he'll hit the switch again. And then he repeats the whole procedure in the vertical direction. I think he's going to go into messages. So there you go, there's his course setting and he's in. Now, this also works within the app, so he can scan to, I'm guessing he's going to go for H, there you go, and probably now for I, and select, and there you go again, and now he's going to send it, off it goes. Okay. Now, see how quick that was, and if you, by comparison with step scanning, he did that very much faster than, uh, than you would ever achieve in step scanning. Once you've finished in the app, then you can quit in the normal way, so he'll select absolutely anywhere, get the secondary menu up, and then he'll select home, and then you're back to the home screen. Lastly, we'll show you how to go back from point mode to item mode, if you wish to. First of all, Colin will press the switch to begin the scanning process, and then select any app at all on the home screen to get up the secondary menu. He'll then navigate to settings and click and then second line, first, second line first item, point mode, click again and it will go back to item mode. You can then go back to the home screen and it's back to, uh, to item mode uh, which is uh, familiar to most people. And there you go. So that's how to use iOS 7 switch control point mode. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.